All right, we're back. My name is Jesse, and if you watched the last video we did, uh, we were talking about um, different ways of what could wire solar into your house. And the scenario we were going over was the critical loads panel. And I was saying in my video that I don't have a 100 amp transfer switch, and that's one thing I wish I could have done. And I was explaining that if the inverter fails, what I would have to do is remove all these hots here and reconnect those hots in the main service panel. And I was mentioning that you know, if you only have three or four circuits like this, it's not a big deal. It would take you 10 minutes to move it all over. But if you have 15, 20 circuits that you moved over, like I did, I probably moved over like almost 15 circuits. So in that scenario, that might take me like an hour, maybe two hours to move all those circuits back over. But a uh, viewer, I think his name's Rich, Rich Go. Um, I'll try and screenshot his handle in there. But Rich brought up a really good point. I think he was saying he's got two 6,000 XPs in parallel, but he was saying he doesn't have a 100 amp transfer switch. Um, but what he was thinking is, instead of moving over all these individual circuits if the inverter fails what if you just remove the because the inverter failed so we these these uh wires that are feeding this uh, uh load center this cell panel uh they're, they're linked to the the inverter uh, but if the inverter fails we don't really need those wires so what if we just remove these uh these two hot wires this uh this wire here and this wire here going to the lugs what if we just remove those we run two new wires what if we run two new hot wires we land them on those lugs and then we tap them into a, a, a double pole breaker here, like a 50 amp uh, double pole breaker. And so um, that's actually a really good point. <laughs> and it would work. That, that would be your transfer switch. Um, and a lot of people do that with like a, a, a interlock switch. That's something he brought up. Um, you, could, you could use that as your 100 amp bypass uh, or just it, it could act as a bypass. Uh, if your inverter fails, uh, you would just use like an interlock, um, you know, interlock switch or interlock device. I forget what it's called, uh, just so you don't... Uh, back feed when you get your solar back but that's actually a, a good way to you know go about it um, if my inverter fails uh hopefully it doesn't but that's exactly what i'm gonna do is what he mentioned if my inverter fails uh, i'm gonna remove these two hots um in my in my sub panel um actually let's go shoot that video all right so this is my real uh, critical load panel and so if my inverter fails um these are all the hot wires that have to move uh, as you can see that's a lot of them um, it wouldn't be a big deal because the way i extended the hots was with these wagons but still that's that's a lot of connections i have to make back in this main service panel and so what rich was saying is instead of having to kind of reconnect all these extensions that i that i made um back into my main service panel what if you just uh run two wires two hots from your critical loads panel to your main service panel so our inverter fails. So these two wires here are connected to the load output on the 12,000 XP. So what if we just disconnect those? The inverter's off the wall anyway, where it's not working. What if we just disconnect those, run two new wires uh, from these lugs here, and what if we tap them into a like a 50 amp double pole breaker on the main service panel? Uh, and then all we would do is switch our breaker, 50 amp breaker. And now the grid is, is supplying, it's energizing the sub panel. So. Um, that's actually uh, way easier than, than what I was going to do, moving all, uh, you know, reconnecting all these um, hots, all these hot conductors back on their original breakers. So um, that's another way to go about it. And that's kind of uh, another point I wanted to kind of drive home uh, with this channel is that um, I didn't know that. But another uh, viewer, uh, Rich, uh, he's got a, a, a two 6,000 XP's in parallel. And he's, you know, he that's something he thought of and he brought it up. And now uh, now everybody watching this is going to know like, hey. Uh, if you don't have a 100 amp transfer switch and your inverter fails, well, uh, it's no big deal. You don't got to mess with the, uh, you know, reconnecting all your your critical load circuits. Uh, you can disconnect those two wires, just run two wires, top them into a 50 amp double pole or uh, some sort of a double pole breaker, uh, flip the breaker and your power's back on. You're not going to be offline for, you know, a, a couple hours trying to, you know, get power back to your house, reconnecting all the circuits. It's literally going to take you like 10 minutes. If I, if I had to do it, um, it would take me, if I had to guess, it would take me like 15 minutes. If my inverter failed, I literally remove these two uh, wires. I'd rip them out of there. Um, I just run, you know, maybe like a five foot wire uh, through this conduit here, um, land it there, land it there. I'd pop a, I'd remove one of these uh, breakers here, pop a 50 amp double pole, um, uh, land those two hot wires that I placed on those lugs, flip the breaker, and my house is back, back online. Um, while the inverter is getting repaired or while I get a new one or, you know, whatever. So that's, that's kind of a, uh, that's kind of what I was hoping uh, with this channel that, you know, people could add on and they could mention like, Hey, this is how I do it in my system. Cause there's so many ways to go about solar. It's not just uh, you know, one way works uh, and that's it. 
actually there's a ton of different ways and people have wired and hooked up solar uh, to their house in so many different ways that um, if you run into a problem someone's probably already done it or someone's already thought of a way to kind of uh, fix it uh, so that's really cool that uh, rich brought that up and now uh, i can make a video and everybody can kind of understand like oh that's that's a much faster uh way to get your house back online if your inverter fails um obviously i think the 100 amp transfer switch is still the best because it's literally pink uh, you're back online but say you installed the system already um and your inverter fails you don't have a transfer switch that's that's quick um so i think uh that's gonna wrap this one up it was just a you know quick follow-up to what rich brought up i thought it was a really good idea and it's something that um that's probably gonna help a lot of people, especially me. If my inverter fails, uh, I could get back online pretty quick. All right, uh, I will uh, just quickly tie, um, I'm gonna do a, a whiteboard video kind of explaining everything that we did with the hands-on demonstration. Um, but the, the following video after that is gonna be a Tesla uh, kind of review. Um, it, it's a Tesla review, but I go into talking a lot about solar and how um, solar is powering the Tesla and the amount of energy it uses and the amount of energy that my solar produces. So. If you guys see the, the Tesla video um, and you don't like Teslas, or you don't like EVs, uh, I encourage you just to stick around for a couple minutes because you're gonna probably notice that it's uh, I tie in a lot of solar. And if you're trying to learn about solar and you know what, what different things you can do with solar, uh, I think you're gonna you're gonna find it interesting. And you're gonna you'll probably learn a couple things. Um, but anyways, I will catch you guys on the next one. Rich, uh, thanks again for bringing that up. If my burger fails, I owe you a, I owe you a 12 pack. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys.